guys, Unicorn Pondu here. Welcome back to another video. So, we are back with another video, and it's called Butter Chicken Mukbang. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is the thumbnail. I have a lot of questions. But with that being said, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to another video. I'm kind of hyper again, so you're going to get it again. So, yeah. Um, today, honestly, I'm just craving butter chicken, so I'm really just having butter chicken and, you know, tandoori roti. Some homemade iced tea. This place I order from all the time. They're home. We get a rage pinky from Chapel in Paradise Chantal. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Homemade iced tea is bomb.com. Yeah, I know nobody uses that anymore, but <laughs> anyways. Okay, so good. I'm not gonna touch my hijab. Bismillah. <laughs> um, let's get to this. And they have the best. Oh, it's like Indochina, right? So they have Chinese dishes and Indian dishes. And I just butter chicken and butter paneer are like my favorite. Julia. I know it's starting already. The beezing that never ends. Ooh, look at this tandoori. Oh, it seems like a personal problem. You're too stupid enough to lock her in another room for a little bit, then hmm, what does that say about you? <gasps> Yum! It smells like whole wheat flour, though. Ooh, that's hot. So I got two, and I'll probably just eat one. Uh, let's do a thumbnail. Oh, God help me, no. No. Ew. Is that... No. If I get butter sauce on my shirt, I'm gonna freak out. But knowing me, I probably mean good <laughs> okay let's try oh yeah that's whole wheat flour butter chicken traditionally known as merv mac i was not expecting a voiceover jesus honey is an indian dish originating in delhi it is a type of curry made from chicken with a spiced tomato and butter sauce its sauce is known for its rich texture it is similar to chicken tikka masala which uses a tomato paste from wikipedia Shh. oh my gosh that's so good why are we shushing again Mm. Julia, don't squeak. Nobody cares. Speaking of nobody cares. Um, girl, I care. If it was just a, a whole entire stream of her screaming at you, that would be a lot more entertaining whatever the hell this is, girl. No one cares, girl. You obviously don't, but someone like me does. Girl, give her hell this video. Do it. That's what you're going to think when you watch this movie because, I mean, this video because I'm gonna complain about some things that annoy me. I have to stay off TikTok until my anger issues get resolved because TikTok is full of trends and there's nothing that annoys me more in the world than trends. Even though, listen, I hate myself too when I try to imitate trends. I don't know if I, I don't do it often, but, and hey, sharing yummy recipes like that trending um, feta pasta was so good. <laughs> Of course, whenever it revolves around food, it's fine, but whenever, um, whenever it's anything else, oh no, how dare you. Okay. But one, a few trends really annoy the heck out of me. And I'm wondering if any of you feel the same or if it's just me and I need extra medication or something. But- Probably just you knowing you, because you really just hate everyone and everything. Number one, her Miz bags. Nothing annoys me more than senseless elitism. And her Miz is the worst. I was- Are you like jealous that you can't afford them? Like who out here is going around? You know what really makes me mad? Yeah, Miz bags. Yep, those. Dang her. Who cares? It's a bag. If you want to buy it, do. If you don't, okay. It's a, it's a name brand. Are you mad at the people that like buy Chanel and uh, like Gucci? It's it's a name brand. Okay, moving on. I was watching. I was scrolling TikTok, and I saw this one woman who who thought her life was over because she waited so long to be invited to a store invited to the store okay keep that in mind she got invited to a bag viewing a consultation and you know what i'm just gonna say it her my 90 dollar bag from aldo is prettier than the hermes bags the hermes bags in my opinion are hideous they're okay who cares again <laughs> who cares those dang hermes bags are just ruining the world for chantal <laughs> Again, are you mad that you can't afford one? Oh well, 
and save your money, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is some stupid right off the bat. Ugly and cheap looking. I said it. I don't care. Anyway, best butter chicken, by the way. <laughs> She's like, so I went for my consultation at Hermes. So you see her getting in like a New York City cab and everything. And she's super bummed because I didn't get offered a bag. I'm like, oh. so this is the first time I learned about this. It gets worse. Like, not only do you have to spend 30K to 40K on a crappy, ugly handbag, you have to be privileged enough for them to offer you to buy one. Like, what? what's the golden ticket? You need to have smoky eyeshadow that day. Your eyebrows weren't plucked enough. Your name was Eliza. I mean, I really, really don't. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Your name was the. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god, Chacha, what is this? Your name wasn't Eliza. <laughs> I can just go press play because. There's no making sense in this. I don't know why she's so manically mad, but like, it, it's really funny. No, what qualifies you and disqualifies you from buying a $40 bag? Like, Hermes, you're not going to watch this, but if you do, you know that these people are your customers, right? I mean, they still pay you, and without them, you would be nothing. So, oh my god. If someone wants to give you 40 grand, I mean, am I wrong? I hope I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please give me crap in the comments because. That'll be the happiest day of my life. I hope I'm wrong, because it really pisses me off. I mean, people are going to pay 40k either way if they want to be selective about who they give their bags to. I mean, it's, that's their prerogative and brand. You can't really... What are you going to do? Like, go to the owner of Hermes and be like, You know what? I have a problem about how you run your $40,000 bag business. <laughs> You're press play again. All right. I'm getting hot. It might be the curry. All right, so number two trend annoying the crap out of me right now is everyone imitating each other with these stupid vegetable tray. This this plate of like of course <laughs> number one forty thousand dollar bags. Number two vegetable. <laughs> what is this, Chantal? This is the stupidest video you've ever made. Let's play. Okay, it's a snack plate. And it has to be the same. God forbid you change a vegetable in it. There's like a sausage, okay? C cottage cheese and mustard. Oh shoot, my, my, girl, is this, are you mad at Amber? Cause this is what, like cottage cheese and mustard thing is what Amber was doing. I'm not sure if she is right now, but. A heart of palm. Who buys hearts of palm? People on keto do. It's a very popular thing. It's like a really nice noodle replacement. You're welcome, you uncultured swine. I've never dipped heart of palm in anything, okay? Let alone cottage cheese and mustard. Um, I think there's like a cucumber, a huge carrot. You can't slice it. It's always a huge carrot. It's just like this trend of the most disgusting looking snack I've ever seen in my life. But you know what? Cottage cheese and mustard kind of sounds good, so I might try it. <laughs> But I'm not buying Heart of Palm just to fit in, no. Oh, good for you, girl. I'm really glad that you were just gonna... You're taking it to the man. No $40,000 bags. No, no vegetable trays. And what's annoying is I scroll through and I see about 800 of these videos. All right, so I'm trying the viral. All right, so I'm trying the viral. Okay, so I'm trying the viral. Okay, so I'm trying the viral. Ugh, I can't. I'm in a bad mood and everyone's getting it today. All right, so another thing that annoys me, this people going to cafes, ordering like $150 croissant, giant croissant, this huge, and a witch's cauldron of cappuccino, okay? And it's a novelty thing. <laughs> they want to order a big croissant and like a witch's brew of coffee, they can. I mean, like, are you like their... Uh mother or something girl people let people do what they want <laughs> now i know you think of a lot of people hate this because it's wasteful and it, it's like it's like the symbol of overconsumption. now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna complain about that part because look at me i do mukbangs and i over consume so what kind of hypocrite would i be right but what annoys me about it is just that it, people do it like why like 
because they can and they want to. <laughs> if I want, I really want to just go and do this just to spite her because this this sounds like a really fun time. I'm like, hey guys, we're gonna be getting a really big croissant and we're gonna be getting a really large uh, which is brew coffee. <laughs> Oh my god, this is probably the most entertained I've been in a while from her. <laughs> Why copy each other so much? Like, ugh, I don't know. Like, the guy, the guy I saw today just triggered me. Like, everyone even was looking at him. I swear, everyone was looking at him like this. I hope I can find the video in the cafe. And he's just sitting there like, <gasps> like he just received, he's receiving his new child in his arms. They're carrying this huge croissant to him. And he's like, <gasps> I'm going to get so many views for this. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too cynical for TikTok. <laughs> no, you're just too cynical in general. It's not just for TikTok. Because you're miserable as a person. This is this is how you vent your frustration by shoveling food down your throat. Good job, Chantal. You know what I'm saying? Yummy. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever had butter chicken? It's the butter sauce. It doesn't matter what's in it. It could be butter chicken. It could be butter masala, paneer. <clears throat> It's the red stuff here, orange stuff that's so delicious. I'm not that hungry right now. Today in general, so. So that's my ranting for today. I get so annoyed. Oh, one more thing. I'm not the epitome of good Muslim, but I'm on my own journey and I keep that personal usually. I'm not trying to spread false doctrines or false ide I, um, what is it? ideas about Islam. But there's one woman, ugh. I have to try so hard not to comment. Okay, then don't. But sometimes it does. It I don't win. It's like marriage is halal or something like that, and it's this Muslim woman. Always her face up close, and always like. If you want to make your man very happy, you must. Ma'am, do you not remember? Right? Do you not remember when you live streamed? We the camera angle would be from here to like here. Ish. Let's bring him several lives. If you need help with that, please reach out to me. My husband is my king. If my husband tells me to sit down, I sit down. If my husband tells me not to go out, I don't go out. I will admit that there is expectation on a certain level of women to not be obedient. But why do you care? If if that's not how you want to live your guys' lives, then don't live it like that. If you don't want to be doing this, don't. Okay, let her live her life. If, she, if that's how she wants to express her life and with her husband and whatever, so, okay, I mean, that's not how I would want to live my life, but like, if that's how she wants to live her life, sure. Everyone has different likes, and different tastes, and different whatever. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, why are you doing an FR? Just, just let that be, let that be in between like her and her husband and the people that I, I don't know, support or have that same kind of lifestyle. I'm not gonna be here being like, oh my god, why are you doing that for? Ew. What will for life? Jeez like that but like have respect right for your husband and believe me in islam if a man is disrespecting his woman and not taking care of her she can apply to divorce him oh mm -hmm. the way how the way that she said that um trouble in paradise chantal i wouldn't be surprised when they get married he has to give her money and he has to also take care and provide for her that's like how it is okay and the woman in return has specific expectations okay as a wife okay one of those duties is not to bring your husband other women okay she has a t-shirt even for like merch that says bring your husband more women no and like trying to encourage to allow him to have more sex with other women which is zena which is adultery which is forbidden in most religions i'm pretty sure so she just gets on my nerves like she was just like she just says really dumb things like i don't know I mean, this is not my expertise because I know nothing about this sort of realm of the world and et cetera, et cetera. But Chantal, you know how your favorite saying is that this is between me and God. This is between me and God, et cetera. Like, let this be between her and Allah, okay? I don't know if she's being ironic, but usually Muslims don't joke about, make jokes about Islam, you know? I'm not then what, like, what do you call this being a glutton filming yourself for money i mean what 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 do you call that then isn't that just a little bit ironic don't you think it, 
to throw another Alanis Morrison in there. Come on. But, like, yeah, girly, I wouldn't be uh, throwing stones when you have a glass house yourself or a glass fart box, I guess. But anyways. That way. She just annoys me. <laughs> and, of course, in the comments, they're even more annoying. All the thirsty men are like, oh, yeah, we need more women like you. Really? Yeah, well, buddy, we need less men like you. <laughs> yeah, we need less women like you, Chantal. You glutton. Anyway. And also, like, you have any room to judge anybody ever, given your track record, ma'am. Recorded, live streamed, track record. Shut it. Keep stuff in your face and mind your business. I'm not even, like, criticizing the multiple wives thing because I understand it. But it's not done like that. <laughs> How would you know? You don't know anyone there. You just, like, lock yourself in your apartment because you're too embarrassed to go outside and stuff your face for money. Mind your business. How people think. I could eat this every day. Honestly, there's a few foods I could eat every single day until I can. <laughs> butter, anything is really, oh, sauce. Let me guess, is it tomatoey? Is it buttery? Is it chickeny? Et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, Miss Beauty Beauty guys can't describe any sort of flavor or texture or anything. It's just yummy. It's so awesome. Oh my God. Thanks for listening to me rant. Everyone has things that annoy them. Yeah, um, my number one is the person on screen right now. Why is this? This under cap always moves. I hate it when I eat. Maybe because when you chew, your temples move. About the closest thing that you've ever come to a temple in your life, I'm sure. I'm full. Seriously, I've had enough. That was a big bread, and that was... Okay, uh, okay there's only like 10 seconds left. Anyways, wow, um... Way to just be a complete jackass, Chantal. Just say I don't like when people- Okay, who cares? There's things about people I don't like. I'm not sitting here like, you know what, guys? I don't like $40,000 Hermes bags, okay? Okay. God, how she is so infuriating, I swear. But regardless, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.